fans, we have special footage here. This happened in the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, Port of Spain, National Stadium. This is an exclusive match that was uh, acquired by ENG Productions. Uh, Dula the Butcher defending the West Indies Heavyweight Championship against Carlos Colon. International competition just to prove the point on the rivalry of Carlos Colon and Abdullah the Butcher and the intensity that also involves the fans in this feud where Abdullah is involved. Referee is uh, Mr. Parker from Trinidad. Tell you, Hugo, anytime you get involved in a rivalry like this between Carlos Colon and Abdullah the Butcher, emotions run high. And when you get those emotions running high, sometimes it boils over and carries over to the people watching the match themselves. And when you get a situation like that, you got a potential riot situation. And, you know, I have a feeling that by the time this match gets over with, that there's going to be a lot more than just the two wrestlers involved in this match. Okay, Abdullah the Butcher ready to get it on. So is Carlos Colon, no strangers to each other. One of the most explosive rivalries in professional wrestling. Carlos Colon and, and Abdullah the Butcher. Okay, referee trying to check Abdullah the Butcher. That's an, an impossible task. Well, you know, Abdullah the Butcher, you can check him all you want to. It looks like he's trying to do a thorough job. But my guess would be that somewhere on that 500 pound body. He's yeah, being the boot. You probably have to run him to one of those airport x ray machines. Yeah, you have to run him, run him through a metal detector. They need one of those things to run him up and down his legs, because I guarantee you, inside one of those boots or something, he's got that fork hidden somewhere. Well, that machine go crazy with the noise when he comes through. Okay, Abdullah the Butcher in the corner. Carlos Colon all over the champion. And like I said to you before, there's no pretty side when uh, Carlos Colon and Abdullah go at it. And now he's going on the, on the side of the ear. Tell you what, uh, Carlos Colon going right to going right to business on hand on Abdul the Butcher on that ear. You know, Carlos Colon is, you know, he's a nice man, he's a great man, but like I said a couple of times in this tape, the people have seen these two in action throughout this whole tape. There's no love lost at all between these two men. Well, there was even some judicial involvement here in the Republic of Trinidad because of this match. Some, some other things occurred, and ENG Productions had to get this tape from the police department in Trinidad because this tape uh, was taken as evidence uh, by the police of Trinidad. Well, I tell you, uh, I haven't had a chance to see this tape yet, Hugo. I've heard a lot of stories about this particular match right here. The first time I've actually had a chance to see it on video because nobody thought the video existed. But ENG Productions managed to get their hands on it, and I have a feeling before it's all over with, the people out there are going to see something they've never seen before. Okay, Carlos Colon all over the ear now. Some blood coming out. I throw the butcher in the corner. So far, he has not thrown one punch. Say what? So far, it's been all Carlos Colon, which is very unusual because usually Abdullah the Butcher is the one that starts the action by jumping his opponent. But right now, the madman from the sedan looks a little uh, surprised at what's going on right now. If there is a secret or a way to try to beat Abdullah, it must be the consistency and the ability of take out the punishment that Abdullah could dish out. And if there is a way to beat him, you have to look right at his eyes and don't let him intimidate you with as much punishment as he could throw at you. You've got to fight him back. And that's what Carlos Colon is doing. He's biting the ear right now. Referee Parker attempting to control his match. And uh, Mr. X, you know that's impossible. That's exactly right. The uh, referee is just uh, another body in the ring as far as uh, that goes. When you get these two men together in a squared circle, Carlos Colon biting on the ear, doing the, you know, taking advantage of what are opening you hear Abdullah screaming oh, yeah. like a like a, like like a beast in pain well I tell you you know just like you brought up a few minutes ago Hugo, when you get in the ring with this madman for the sedan you can't let him know that you're scared it's just like when you're out in the wild and you're confronted with a wild animal if you let him know that you're scared and they see the fear in your eyes then you don't stand a chance I would love to get the impressions of Carlos Colon once he sees this BHS I would like for him to uh, analyze some of this rivalry. And perhaps on the next production of ENG, we might get some of his comments on Carlos' viewpoint on this rivalry of Abdullah the Butcher himself. Because believe me, if there's one guy that knows about Abdullah, must be Carlos because of the many, many battles where he has been involved and his life has been in danger. And I think sometimes the man that knows uh, uh, the other man better is that rival. 
I'll tell you, you're absolutely right, Ugo. Carlos Colon probably knows more about Abdul the Butcher than any other wrestler in the sport of professional wrestling. He knows how to deal with him. He knows how to handle him. He knows what it takes to get prepared for a match with Abdul the Butcher. And we're seeing evidence of that right now. Look at him. He's going to town on him. Abdul the Butcher hadn't had a chance for any offense whatsoever. It's been all Carlos Colon to this point. Let's give credit not just to Carlos Colon, but to all other courageous professional wrestlers that have been in the ring with Abdullah because just signing for a match with him deserves credit. Well, you know, sure it deserves credit because as we've mentioned throughout this tape, anytime you step in a square circle with this guy, you're putting your life on the line. And Carlos Colon has done it all kinds of times. So you have to sit down and wonder, well, is he crazy or is he does he know what he's doing and i know carlos cologne and he's a tough son of a gun and he's going to take whatever he has to take he's going to do whatever he has to do to take care of abdul the butcher and i think that right now he's doing what has to be done trying to slow down the madman from the sudan but you know abdul the butcher can take a, a tremendous amount of punishment and come back for more good shots by carlos he's been hitting that area around the ear where he's already been uh uh, in pain, bleeding, and uh, if there is something that it's stopping Abdullah, I think it's been those shots to the side of the ear. Maybe he's a little bit uh, confused, maybe not able to mount an offensive, and this could be the opportunity that has been long awaited by Juan Carlos Colon. Well, it seems like if you uh, kick that guy in the head enough, there's not enough brains there to really amount to too much. It wouldn't take a whole lot to disorient this man. I don't see uh, Chicky Star or anybody else out there trying to manage this guy, trying to give him some advice. So I guess he's out there on his own. And right now he looks a little disoriented. Maybe he's lost, maybe he's confused, and maybe he's wondering how in the heck Carlos Colon could be doing this to him when usually he's the one that's at the point of advantage at this time in the match. But hey, I've got all the confidence in the world that this sadistic guy is going to find some way to stop Carlos Colon and start dishing out his kind of punishment. Mr. X, may we gather now that perhaps he has hurt you in the past or one of your relatives or perhaps uh, some member of your family? Well, I, let's just be safe to say that uh, I've had a lot of personal friends that have come to injury with the duel of the butcher. Uh, when I was in Kansas City, Missouri, I saw him take a young guy that had never been, maybe wrestled three or four matches, and he got him in the ring, started using the fork, opened him up like a cantaloupe, and it was one of the most glorious spectacles I've ever seen in my life, a personal friend of mine, and that's as far as I'm going to take it. All I can say is something's got to be done to stop this guy, and I think Carlos Colon's on the right track. Well, to say the least here, if there's uh, any of the managers or lawyers of Abdul the Butcher watching this BHS. I was just contracted to do this tape. Nothing personally involved here against Mr. Abdullah the Butcher or his acquaintances. I've just been contracted by ENG Productions. And having stated that, let's go back into this match where Abdullah has regained control and now using that violent style, he's all over Carlos Colon and the fans here in the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago were it now as they know once Abdullah gets going, it is hard to stop him. Well, you know, Hugo, like I told you, I, personally, I've just been waiting for this to happen. A couple of big karate thrusts to the throat of Carlos Colon, a couple of headbutts to the head of Carlos Colon, and there looks like a cheap shot, low blow, below the waist shot by Abdullah the Butcher. Now he's got Carlos Colon in trouble. Now we're going to start seeing the sadistic side of the madman for the Sudan, the maniac, the butcher. You know, any adjective you want to use to describe Abdul the Butcher is appropriate to him because he's opening up on Carlos Colon. And, hey, when you step in the ring with this guy, this is the kind of punishment you expect to take. Okay, Abdullah, it's on the go right now. Carlos Colon in trouble. Here comes Abdullah right to the eyes. And fans that have followed this rivalry, they sure know how much damage Abdullah has done to the eyes of Carlos Colon. A lot of blood here on Abdullah's uh, face and forehead. But now he's got the advantage. Carlos Colon is down. West Indies heavyweight championship match. Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. We are in poorest Spain. And nothing can save Carlos but his own guts and ability to overcome, if he can, this big man. 
tell you what, I just noticed a couple of minutes ago, and he probably still has a, a sadistic smile on the face of Abdul the Butcher when he's inflicting punishment. Oh, he blocked a shot there by Carlos Colon and that big karate thrust. I tell you what, Abdul the Butcher is going crazy on Carlos Colon right now. You got to give the guy a little bit of credit. He's sadistic, he's a maniac, but he's got his tactics, his strategy in the ring, and it comes from a lot of experience and hurting a lot of people. But you know, Hugo, the get then again, getting back to the whole point of this tape by NG Productions is to point out, because you know some of these tapes you didn't think existed, you were surprised by a couple of things that's happened on this tape. But the point of the matter is, something's gotta be done to try to get some kind of control on this individual before he ends up virtually killing. Okay, a low back uh, kick to the groin area of Abdullah the Butcher, and I think he hit the target as Abdullah goes down on his knees, and now Carlos Colon all over punching Abdullah the Butcher. Good shots by Carlos, and we might point out here, Mr. X, that no one is safe with Abdullah, not his managers, nobody. I don't think even Abdullah the Butcher is safe from Abdullah the Butcher. He might be called his own worst enemy as he doesn't know the meaning of respect. And that's what has got him in a lot of trouble throughout his wrestling career. Successful athlete, yes. But boy, has been, he been fined by many commissions and also involving a lot, of, uh, a lot of things that maybe we should not discuss here. But he's a vicious, vicious man. Outside the ring at uh, Port of Spain, knocking the head of Carlos against the ring post. Well, we're talking about some heavy damage here. Referee County, he's not really worried about this. Oh, no, Abdul the Butcher, eventually sometime during his match, he's going to take the action outside the ring. Now he's taking Carlos's head, pounding it into the turnbuckle post. Now it's busted Carlos Colon's head wide open. And I know Abdul the Butcher's enjoying this, but Hugo, look at the people standing. Yes, uh, now we, we must point out that there are some wrestlers, some local wrestlers from Trinidad, that are around the ringside area. This big confrontation not only uh, got the attention of the people of Trinidad, but also the wrestlers wanted to be that close in case things got out of hand just as they are right now. So we can expect almost anything to happen here. So let, let, let's not get alarmed if anything wild happens here because remember, the wild man is in the ring. He's in action and he hates Carlos and so does Carlos and it's a bloody battle. Trinidad is the setting point, West Indies Championship, and the referee does not have a clue of what to do here. Well, the officials in the Port of Spain obviously realized that there's something going on in this match. That they He's an idiot, let's put it that way. He's a damn idiot, if I might use that word, because at this given point in this match, I think he should have already stopped the match because things have been out of control, only to provoke something to go out of disaster here. He should have stopped the match maybe minutes ago. Oh yeah, when they were both outside the ring and the people started coming to their feet, you can start feeling, even standing there watching this tape, you can feel the hatred those people had. It's gonna to get to the point where this thing can get out of control. I mean, when you have to get a tape from the police commissioner from the Port of Spain, obviously there's things in this tape that people don't want seen, but ENG Productions managed to obtain this tape, and I guarantee you, we're not going to be disappointed if you want to see some kind of riot or obviously something's going to happen. You're right, the match should have been stopped. The referee is an idiot. Okay, Carlos Colon. Well, I don't know how he got some energy back together, but he's fighting back, and he's been hurt because when Abdullah knocked him against the ring post, his knees just buckled and he went down the hard way, but only that courage of a professional athlete and that pride of being in professional wrestling is beautiful and dangerous sport that we love and respect. It's what's given him the strength to battle. Look at that kick by Abdullah the Butcher. Boy, he wants to end the career of Juan Carlos Colon. Well, it's just like uh, a tiger having a, you know, having a young prey or something laying on the mat. He's not gonna, he's gonna toy with it. He's gonna play with it like a cat toys with a mouse before he finally goes in for the final outcome. But here he throws him back outside the ring, Hugo. And I guarantee you, I'm getting scared for both these men right here because when you got a situation that looks like it's brewing right now, there's the referee trying, oh, there's a big kick by that little pointed point on the boot of Abdullah the Butcher. And he's been known to probably carry lead or something in there too. Obviously something to do damage. Carlos Colon's in a lot of trouble. He's lost a lot of blood. He's very weak. And we got a potentially dangerous situation. The referee should have stopped the match way back ago. There was no way that the title could change hands on this situation. 
I think the match should have been thrown out. A rematch should have been uh, set up without going to the extremes of endanger the life of Carlos Colon or Abdullah the Butcher to the extremes now where both men are faced with a situation where they cannot back away from this battle and the referee just lost control of this championship bout and you know that the way they hate each other they were not going to refuse this confrontation. Well you know it surprises me that uh, whenever a match like this occurs between Abdullah the Butcher and Carlos Colon why don't the commissioners appoint two referees or three referees referees for the match. Put two in the ring and one on the floor. Two Are you an ex-referee, Mr. X? Uh, well, no, I'm not an ex-referee. I'm not going to tell you exactly what I am. I, you know, don't keep implicating me, Hugo, because, you know, my life's on the line here. If uh, Abdullah the Butcher finds out who I am, then there's no place for me to run and hide. He's going to find me one of these days, and he's going to take care of me the way he's trying to take care of Carlos Cologne. I don't want that to happen. Do you want that to happen? No, no. Once again, if one of the lawyers of Abdullah the Butcher is it's watching this tape or his manager Chicky Star. I have nothing to do. I am not responsible of this BHS. I'm just doing my duty here, contracted by ENG Productions. So I am not responsible for any other comments on this BHS. Abdullah the Butcher all over. Carlos Colon, more blood here. And look at Abdullah just enjoying touching the blood from the head, from the forehead of Carlos. More damage on the head of Carlos Colon, and he wants to hurt him bad. And the things are just out of control. People surrounding the ring, professional wrestlers trying to get the people to back away. And even some wrestlers are having arguments with each other as they want Carlos to win and the other ones want Abdullah to, to win. So we have a complete uh, situation out of hand here. I tell you what, you got riot conditions here. And there's that big Sudanese meat cleaver one more time on the body of Carlos Colon. And he kicks out. I don't know where he's getting the strength to do that. But, you know, this referee has had no control of the match from the very beginning. And like you said, he's a damn idiot. Excuse me, ENG Productions, for saying that. But there's that big meat cleaver again. Again, Carlos kicks out, but look at the people standing around the ring. Ugo, it's a bad situation. No room for survival here as both gladiators have been cornered. Okay, now he's counting here. He has five. Oh, wait a minute. He has just stopped the, he has just stopped the match. One second here. Referee stops the match because of the blood conditions of Carlos Colon and Abdullah the Butcher retains the West Indies Heavyweight Championship. Then why the heck didn't he do this 10 minutes ago if he finally had to do this? Hey, I have no idea. I'm sitting here uh, baffled by this particular decision. I mean, if you're going to stop the match for blood, like you said, why not stop it 10 minutes ago before the people got fired up the way they are right now? You know, this guy, uh, I've never seen him before. Ugo. Maybe you know who he is, but uh, I hope he never refereed any more matches after this because he's incompetent. Let's just point out that perhaps the fear of being involved in this match, maybe not, even that the referee wanted to be involved directly with this. And the results are clear as they are right now. A bloody mess, no positive results. Here's another one of the wrestlers coming in to try to stop Carlos. Here we have uh, one of the three that wrestlers. He gets thrown out. Abdullah the Butcher, he has retained the championship. Carlos Colon disappointed. We have some other relatives of the wrestlers. We have some people from the press. Uh, Jed packed the uh, National Stadium. And Carlos Colon, he still has the guts, even though he lost uh, the match, not by a pinfall, because uh, he did not get pinned, but the blood was just gushing out of his forehead. And I don't know why is this wrestler trying to stop Abdullah when he knows that there's no one that could stop him. Well, you know, you see people on the outside trying to grab at Abdullah the Butcher, trying to get him out of the ring. Yes, that's one of the, one of the wrestling coaches from uh, Trinidad, and uh, everybody just going crazy here. And uh, that just goes to prove that this situation could have been stopped. Here we have, no, we have some wrestlers here. We have some, they have their own private little war going here. We have some wrestlers fighting each other, like uh, some like Abdullah, some like Carlos. And uh, a lot of uh, things went wrong here. The final result on this uh, battle here, Carlos Colon losing because of blood, the chance to become the West Indies champion. Abdullah the Butcher retains the title. More blood adds uh, more into this rivalry. They hate uh, rivalry between Carlos Colon increasing and even the other wrestler got a black guy here uh, and let's put it this way referee could have stopped uh, he could have stopped this uh, tremendous gross battle here by uh, stopping the battle six or seven minutes ago the final result uh, Abdullah still the champion and necessary roughness uh, 
uh, happen here and steal some more outside the ring. Uh, your comments on this, uh, Mr. X? I'll tell you what, I, I've never seen this before. This is uh, this, this is crazy. This is riot conditions. What's have, going on here? We have Frank and Washington involved here. We have Thunderbird Williams involved here. We got two other wrestlers involved here. They, they should not be participating in this battle. But then again, referee was responsible. Okay, wrestling fans, let's take you to another battle of Abdullah the Butcher.